Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, there was a king who was known for his cruelty. He would punish his subjects harshly and without mercy, and his rule was characterized by fear and oppression. One day, I have decided to travel across my kingdom to see it for myself. That's a wise decision, your majesty. You will get to know your people better and understand their needs. I hope so. I want to be a good ruler and make my people happy. Your Majesty, may I offer you some advice? Of course. It is said that true power comes not from fear and oppression, but from kindness and compassion. Kindness and compassion? Yes, Your Majesty. If you rule with fairness and compassion, your people will respect and love you. They will follow you willingly, and you will have their loyalty. I see your point. I have been too harsh with my people. I need to change. I am glad you are willing to consider a different approach, your majesty. I will travel across my kingdom and see the suffering of my people. I will learn how to rule with kindness and compassion. I believe that is the right decision, your majesty. Your people will be grateful for your understanding and empathy. Thank you for your advice, my friend. I will do my best to be a good king. He traveled far and wide, and along the way, he met many people who were suffering under his rule. He saw the poverty, the hunger, and the despair in their eyes, and he began to feel a sense of empathy and compassion that he had never experienced before. As he continued his journey, the king came across a wise old sage who took him aside and spoke to him about the nature of power and the responsibilities of a ruler. The sage told the king that true power came not from fear and oppression, but from kindness and compassion. These words struck a chord with the king, and he began to reflect on his own actions and the impact they were having on his people. He realized that he had been wrong in his approach, and that if he wanted to be a good king, he needed to change. From the day on, the king began to rule his kingdom with kindness and compassion. He abolished many of the harsh laws that had been in place, and instead focused on creating a society where everyone could live in peace and prosperity. The people of the kingdom were amazed by the transformation in their king, and they began to respect and love him. The kingdom prospered, and the people lived happy and contented lives. And so, the king's journey from cruelty to kindness not only changed him as a person, but also transformed his kingdom into a place of peace and happiness. The end. Don't forget to subscribe Scholars Flash. Like, share and must tell your opinions in comment section.